All right, what are we doing? We're going to check out your properties that you bought. You literally bought properties and you've never seen them. And how long have you owned them now? I've owned them now for four or five months. Right, and you've never gone to see them. So no. we're going to go see them. You're a very successful businessman. Um, and we're going to go check them out and see what they look like. Do you want to even look at the camera or no? Hi, my name is Chris. There we go, look. I'm cleaning my shoes because Texas is muddy as fuck. Yeah, put them on my <laughs> counter. Hang them on <laughs> you. Ah! All right guys, I'm with my older brother. We are currently heading out to two of my rental properties that I purchased. I never looked at the rental properties, the investments, because I'm a very busy man. I have no freaking time to look at anything. I have no time to fly out and do anything. I'm a psychopath, not actually, but I'm, I'm crazy. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go look at both the properties. My brother over here flew in from New York just to see me. It was his Christmas present. Yes, it was. And uh, I miss him a lot, and I know he misses me a lot. So we're gonna make the best of today. He got some good Dallas. Uh... Some good Dallas what, Mikey? What, what are we gonna say? What'd you get? What did I? What'd I, you get from Dallas? I, if you want to share. I got. Is it show and tell? I got a good old Texas. What would you call it? A badonky dog. <laughs> Some good he got, old Texas hoo ha. He got, he got, he got the whole shebang. We got the whole yeah. shebang. That Texas hoo ha hit different. Mm, mm -hmm. Yum yum. Anyway, so yeah, um, we're gonna make sure we show my brother all the best spots. I want to show him my property, my house, everything. We've and had a long couple nights though. Yeah, we've had a long couple nights. A lot of networking. I'm trying to make sure I get you guys the best content, the best podcasts, everything. We have a huge podcast coming up. I'm not gonna tell you guys who. Guess in the comments below. But um, yeah, um, this podcast is gonna change everything. It's gonna, yeah, it's either gonna make or break. <laughs> yeah, one way I don't know which one. One way or the other, things will change. Yeah. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, guys. Uh, we'll be at my property in about 15 minutes. Apparently, one of my tenants is a very interesting lady, and I can't wait to meet her. So I will see you guys there. All right, guys, we're pulling up to my rental unit. This is my rental unit right here. Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. Let's make sure we're not walking into the wrong house. Yeah, let's uh, blur out the numbers too. Absolutely. Luckily, you know, I have, you know, my pistol. <laughs> yeah. Let's go look at it, guys. Come on. All right, guys, this is it. This is my house. It's a five bedroom property, single family unit. I also have a duplex, but that one is probably about 15 minutes away from where we are right now. Five bedroom, and I think three or four bath. Pretty nice area. Nice big RV right there. The neighbors seem like they're fun. They kind of did look in. They're like, what the is he doing, you know? They, they're they're thinking, <laughs> oh no, another YouTuber. All right, guys, let's make sure no one's inside the house squatting, because I'll fuck shoot their ass. All right, three, two, one. Oh, shit, wait, let's wipe our shoes. What those nasty ass shoes leaders. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. So this is a um, five bedroom, we got a fireplace. Backyard's a little overgrown, not gonna lie. That's the backyard. This, is, this might not be as interesting as house shopping with George Santos, but hey, good enough, right? So you come over here, we got one bedroom. I don't know, this might be the master. Pretty good size room. Then we have bathroom over here. And this is my first time seeing this house. Like I, I literally bought it without even looking at it. Which is fucking hilarious. It's a little dated, but I mean, it's, it's a Section 8 property, so. Pretty nice for Section 8. Michael doesn't like to waste money. I don't like to waste money. I do not waste money. I guess this is kind of like a living room. Kind of weird, the window. Closet. I think this is the garage. Oh, the lights work. Shit. Nice size garage. Yeah. Two door garage. Two door garage, yeah. Throw a Tesla charger in here, maybe I'll take it. It's nice, it's nice. I wouldn't live here personally unless there was a few more upgrades, but hey, whatever. It's nice, I think it's a great size house. Uh, another bedroom. It's a big house, I will say. It's a pretty big house. Oh, don't fall down the stairs. Oh, they redid this bathroom at least. Look. At least there's granite in this one. This is the, oh wow, wait, this is weird. There's like two bedrooms attached to each other. Look at this, Chris. This is weird. There's two bedrooms that are like, oh shoot, we're losing each other. There's this, I like this, honestly. This is my favorite part of the house, these two bedrooms. I guess this could be the master. It depends which one you want, but this would be cool. Is it's, it's a five bedroom technically. It's kind of weird because like this bedroom is attached to that one. There's a walk-in closet in this one, so I guess this is technically, this could either be the master or two extra bedrooms, depends on how you want it. Yeah, if you were gonna live here, probably knock down this whole wall and just make I it one like massive separate. bedroom. This is weirdly small. Yeah, that's what I was saying, I knock down the mass. wall. Maybe it's like a bedroom with an office, Yeah. you know? This could be more, it's, it's 
weird, but I like it. Oh my god, Collins have the heat on for this. I'm gonna kill you. 68? Yeah, it's hot in here. You gotta turn that shit down. We got another bedroom right over here. The roof looks kinda new, so that's good. And uh, all the windows are new. That's really good. That's really nice that all of them are new. All new windows. It's a nice house. Guys, is this not the lowest counter you've ever- This is literally at my Kockenstein height. Like, oh, Kockenstein. What the hell is this? Look. It I might be hard to tell on camera, but it literally looks like yeah, it's yeah, made for a little person. It, it's like almost at my knee. Come on. Come on now. This is kind of sad, but whatever. This is what happens when you don't look at a property before you buy it. You get a you get a sink that's the size of your Kockenstein. Welcome to my house. My great big empty house. Voila. Alright guys, you, let's go see the next one. Um, what are you yeah. gonna name your real estate company? Oh, let's see. OnlyFans Homes? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, Let us know yeah, what you think. Comment down below what my yeah. real estate part of the company, or my LLC. Let's see. There you go. Nothing with the name right now, guys. Alright. Oh, let's go see the backyard. Definitely a bit overgrown, I'd have to say. But it's a huge, and I, at least they have a yard. My house has no yard at all. I wouldn't complain living here, not gonna lie. I actually prefer this over no yard. It's a huge yard. I like it. It's a nice house, for uh, especially for a Section 8 house. I mean, it doesn't get much nicer than this, I don't think. Yeah. It's huge. It's uh, got a fireplace. It, so I'm guessing this would be the living room, not that one, like you said. I yeah. think that's probably another bedroom. This is probably the living room. Maybe that's like uh, a den type of place. Yeah. It's a two-story house. How many bedrooms is it? Uh, it is five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. It's a huge house and a massive backyard, five bedrooms, a living room, a fireplace, fireplace. A, a little baby sink. So, I mean, it's got pretty much everything you could want. So are you going to move to Dallas? Uh, if you buy me a house, I will move to Dallas and okay. my mom a house. Right, and guys. my uncles and my aunts and my cousins a house. Okay. So like maybe eight houses and then we're set. Yeah, then I'm done. All right, guys, you heard that. So let's get my brother eight houses. Okay, cool, great. We'll get your house one day. Flip that. All right, guys, let's go to the next unit. Let me know in the comments which house you would live in. This house or the next one that we're going to. The next one's a three bedroom uh, duplex. It's also pretty nice. Probably, I don't know if it'd be as nice as this one, but uh, yeah. We will see you guys at the next one. All right, guys, we made it to my next property. This one's uh, a charmer. This is one of the units. There's a tenant in there, so we don't really want to film her, but that's one of our tenants. And then we have this side too. Give a little tour of the neighborhood real quick. Spin around, spin around, spin around. Spin around, spin around, spin around. All right, guys, next one, let's go. I actually like this one. This one's nicer than the other one. Come on in, join us, join us, please. Put this lock in too, just in case. This is an interesting second lock. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a lock like that before. Yeah, oh, so funny story. When you get Section 8 tenants, uh, what they'll do is they will steal your stove. So I had to pay $600 for a brand new stove. So my last tenant, go f*** yourself. Bitch stole my f stove. Brand new, now this is brand new. This one's a lot nicer than the other one. Yeah, the sinks are normal human being level. The flooring is really nice. Oh, I actually redid the flooring. I did do that. And then I fixed the foundation for the property because the property was sinking. So we had to raise it. Another bedroom. So this one's a three bedroom and then the one across, there's two units. The uh, We have the other one. That's another three bedroom, two bath. I guess this is the living room. Another closet, bathroom right here. This one's not bad either. It's not bad. Oh, shit. I'm paying for that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And uh, yeah, this is the second unit. This is the master bedroom. Should we go meet the other tenant? I feel like we should. Mm. All right guys, I'm calling my real estate agent. Let's see, let's see what he recommends. Looks like he's getting a decrease in pay. He's not getting any more properties purchased through me. There you go. Got to answer the phone every time. All right guys, my real estate agent's calling me back. Hey Colin, I got you on speaker. I'm recording a YouTube vlog. Um, I just want to ask you a question about the tenant. You, you're, feel free to answer however you want to. So, yeah. should I go say hi to her? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, trust me on this. I had a conversation with her the other day, and it started with, hey Colin, how are you? Just want to let you know that, you know, the tree kind of seems like it's growing a little bit, like it's, the wind blew it over a little bit. And so I asked her to send me a picture, and the conversation ended with her cussing me out and telling my just screaming gibberish about something about our kids. Sounds interesting, actually. I mean, I kind of... I, I, no, like, trust me on this, because...
this this brings privacy laws into account for you as the owner. It's you're opening a big can of worms, and um, I would highly suggest that you don't that you don't go over there. Okay. But trust me on this. She she's insane. Keep your distance. That's why you pay me every month. This is deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious when I tell you this. Hey, for the yeah, vlog. Don't don't do it. Just we do everything for content. If you decide to go over there, I mean, on your own accord, you know that's your choice. But don't don't come and meet with the repercussions. Why? Like uh, we don't have to film here. Michael, what should you do? Stop, stop. What just happened? So you lost your wallet for like 24 hours and then I went and found it for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. It was at but the coffee shop. It was at a coffee shop. We're going to get the Batmobile right now. All right. That's the only thing I know to call it. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm psyched. It's freezing maybe because there's no top, but... It's also just freezing. And let's just hope it doesn't rain. I got Chris his little Batmobile. Luckily, I got the full protection. Where's the seat belt? There's my bro, bro. Yo. Yeah, how you like it? It's a little sketchy. You'll see when you drive it. I've driven it, one it, before. It is a little fire. sketchy, I won't lie. <laughs> Alright guys, we're taking my older brother to Terry Black's, the most famous barbecue in all of Dallas, and let's see how he likes it. Alright guys, Terry Black's, the most famous barbecue in all of Dallas. Alright, we can't go in there, we can't go in there. Chris, where you come? How much was the oldest? A hundred dollars, look at that. hundred dollars. Alright, we got the beef rib, turkey, and brisket. Uh, cream corn, coleslaw, mac, and cornbread. Cheers. Alright, let's eat. Let's do it. What do you want to try first? You know I love meat. Alright, let's try some this big ass rib. I can't believe I'd say it's just digging with their hands. Alright, cheers. Oh my god. It's so fat. How did you get that? That shit tastes good though. That shit gas. I can't believe this was a hundred dollars. Mix it with some mac and cheese. You have a knife too, face. <laughs> Give me some of that knife. This guy. To all my Muslims out there, I got beef. That was like a hundred dollars. Alright, how'd you think of it? I thought it was Fire. I like the atmosphere. Uh, I mean, my stomach we, is we definitely hurting. We, we don't have that many places that stay packed out like that in New York. Like, that place was packed out. The line yeah. was all the way around the building. Yeah, it was crazy. That was one of the busiest places I've ever definitely been. Definitely really good, but definitely we really want to get in the car because really I've heard good, really, really bad about getting in the car. Where are you going, boy? All right, guys. We spent the entire day looking at our houses. What else did we do? Our oh. houses. I get My house uh, and the barbecue and I had a great time. We had a good day. And uh, we're gonna go do some interviews now yep. on the strip. The, gay, the strip. gay strip. So yeah, stay tuned. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.